Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic that uh, lesson learned for Scrum framework. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in uh, project management, Scrum framework, software development, and you want to learn about it. So let's start, friend. Friend, first of all, we have to understand that what is basically lesson learned. Friend, lesson learned concept is a general concept in the project management. That means actually, whenever we are working for any project either it is software based project or it is a uh, product development so what happened actually we are working on different tasks different feature sets and uh, our main focus is on the delivery to the customer like we are working as a team and we are trying our level best to deliver the things but there are so many problems issues are there because we know that every project is unique okay uh, unique means that uh, the uh, problems the scope the resources all the things are new and unique for every project now what happened actually that with the passage of time with the uh, during the implementation we gone through different lessons different experiences we gone through and uh, the all those experiences are very important for us because it will adds a value for the next projects as well like for example whatever the mistakes we have made in the project we can learn from it and we can uh, avoid those mistakes and uh, uh, you can say blunders or uh, issues which we have faced in the project in the current project and, and those lessons are basically helpful not for only ourselves but for other people as well so that they can avoid those mistakes in their projects as well for example a uh, very common lesson learned here is that you are initiating a new project and uh, team is not trained on on the new technology for example so first of all you have to arrange a training for the team so that they can have the understanding and visibility about the new product or the about the new technology so this is the lesson learned so lesson learned is basically uh, is basically uh, helps team and organization improve their scrum implementation and enhance overall project outcome so let's deep dive into it first is the clear definition of done uh, that is called a dod as well friend uh, what is definition of done actually definition of done is basically the criteria at which we will consider we will uh, we will say that this particular feature is completed okay so this is basically the definition uh, this is the concept of definition of done in a scrum framework so team often discover that ambiguities in the definition of done lead to misunderstanding and can result in incomplete and subpar work being considered a done like <coughs> if team doesn't have the clarity or you can say the lesson uh, the definition of done is not well defined and agreed upon with the customer or with the stakeholders so what happened that uh, it basically creates ambiguity among the team members and they are not sure whether the team uh, whether the work is completed or not completed so application here is that clearly articulate and uh, regularly revisit the definition of done with the uh, with the team stakeholders and product owner ensure that everyone has a shared understanding of the criteria that need to be met for product backlog items to be considered complete so friend what you can do like uh, you can have a clear understanding about the product backlog items like the features which needs to be developed and uh, you can uh, you can have an uh, visit with the customer with the product owner also uh, this is also our main responsibility product owner as well that he should uh, give a clear understanding of definition of done to the team member that at what basis actually that work will be considered as completed it should have to be clearly defined and well defined and agreed upon with the customer then effective uh, sprint planning uh, means that Scrum team sometimes struggle with inadequate sprint plannings leading to unclear objectives and poorly defined tasks. Uh, this can result in a scope creep in the inefficient use of time scope creep means that the scope items which are not part of the scrum uh, not part of the scope will be added uh, by mistakenly in the scope so solution here is that invest time in thorough sprint planning involving the entire scrum team break down user stories into manageable tasks estimate effort accurately and prioritize the backlog items based on value and dependencies here as well 
uh, friend, uh, again it is very important user stories means the requirements for uh, the uh, uh, for the feature for example let me give you an example customer can do the payment through the credit card and debit card this is a user story uh, so here it is important and that user stories can be properly uh, can be properly divide into tasks for example who will do the development who will do the testing uh, who will do the deployment so all those tasks like for example if there are any uh, tasks related to software designing uh, so all those tasks should be properly managed properly mentions and efforts should be calculated based on that so sprint planning if you can do the sprint planning properly so you can complete the sprint as well properly as well then regular and effective communications mean that communication breakdowns can hinder progress and create misunderstandings team realize the importance of transparent and frequent communication within the team and with the stakeholders many times it happens friend that uh, com proper and appropriate communication is not there among the team members like for example uh, for example let me give you an example that customer has changed the requirement customer has uh, uh, change the uh, definition of done of particular feature for example but it is not communicated to the team member so what happened actually team is working as per the previous definition of done and when they complete the task and uh, deliver it to the customer so customer is surprised that i was expecting that uh, i was expecting that the feature should work like that as per my new requirement but however custom but the feature which has been developed is totally different or working as per the previous understanding so for the solution here is that foster an environment that encourage open communication conduct regular ceremonies like daily stand ups sprint reviews and retrospectives to keep everyone informed and address issues promptly here as well so everyone should be informed everyone should have a clear communication and understanding about the things which are going on properly here as well then empowered scrum master role uh, friend uh, many times it happens that a scrum master uh, is basically many people think that a scrum master is not a uh, crucial role or or not a important role however friend the scrum master plays a very crucial role in facilitating uh, scrum events removing impediments and fostering a culture of a continu continuous improvement and a uh, weak scrum master will definitely have an issue in the uh, development so recognize the value of a strong scrum master ensure they have the authority and support to fulfill their responsibilities including coaching the team and addressing uh, organizational impediments here as well here friend i must say that uh, scrum master should have a strong role in the uh, in the scrum framework because uh, if a scrum master is not strong so obviously there will be issues in the uh, development here as well